the smear campaign. Uh, we have smear campaigns and stalking. Oh, Listen, geez, I don't... women uh. are masters of the smear campaign. I mean, they, come, <laughs> they drop out of the vagina with the green belt and administrative violence. Yeah. Um, <laughs> something to add to that. Uh, if you've ever had a group chat with your buddies, you know, you joke around, you tell jokes, you share memes. Uh, women's group chats aren't like that. And if you don't know that, I'm going to tell you now, uh, women's group chats are about their exes and drama and who they're going to destroy this week. It's uh, it's quite uh, disturbing <laughs> what they talk you know what? about in their chats. Hey, Red Pill, let's do a, a collaboration. Yeah. And we'll actually look at the, uh, co the, the chat of women and the chat of men and do direct comparisons. <laughs> Definitely could do fun. that, yeah. <laughs> I think that'd be cool. Hell yeah. I like that. I like that idea. We need to get that done. Let's see. Uh when toxic types can't control the control the way you see yourself, they start to control how others see you. They mm. play the martyr. They play the martyr while you're labeled the toxic one. Your smear campaign is a pre preemptive strike to sabotage your reputation and slander your name so you won't have a chance so you won't have a support network to fall back onto lest you decide to detach and cut ties with this toxic person. Gentlemen, uh, those of you especially under the ages of, uh, <clears throat> let's say, 35, uh, <laughs> think about the last couple women you dated. Is there something you noticed that may have been similar with all of them? And I'm just going to spoil it for you. All of their exes were toxic, abusive narcissists, uh -huh. ironically. Hmm. Project much? Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. I don't, uh, know. I don't know. They may even stalk and harass you or the people you know as a way to supposedly expose the truth about you. This exposure <laughs> acts as a way to hide their own abusive behavior while projecting it onto you. Mm. Uh, some smear campaigns can even work to pit two people or two groups against each other. A victim in an abusive relationship with a narcissist often doesn't know what's being said about them during the relationship, but they eventually find out and their falsehoods shortly after they've been discarded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very common. It's very common. I, I can't tell you how many times I've had to deal with guys who uh, were married and then all of a sudden they're getting divorced and the soon to be ex-wife comes up with every accusation in the book, um, just you know, slanders that you know, they're soon to be ex-husband in front of his family, his friends. It is savage it, and there's no remorse whatsoever. Yep. None. You know, uh -huh. and there was, there was something else you, uh, you, you've you talked about quite frequently, frequently is the slingback. Um, there actually is a term for this uh, that is uh, in the narcissistic traits. It's called hoovering. So they'll discard you. They'll move on to their new fancy toy, their new shiny thing to play with, use and discard. And then they hoover back to you. And that is the slingback right there. Absolutely. That's yeah. Because I, I believe I uh, the, the pattern I saw was typically seven years. Mm -hmm. After a failed divorce or, or a failed marriage or long, uh, long relationship. All right. And then there'll be two or three more that fail. And typically by the end of the second or third one, they try to go back to the person they had the longest relationship with, you know, trying to, you know, rekindle or, or fix that whole thing. And, and it never works out. No, no, nope. bad uh, plan. Yep. Yeah. Let's see, you got number 12, uh, love, love bombing and devaluation. Toxic people put you through the idea, an idealization phase until you're sufficiently hooked and invested in beginning a friendship or relationship with you. Yeah. Then they begin to devalue you while insulting the very things they admired in the first place. Another variation of this is when a toxic individual puts you on a pedestal while aggressively devaluing and attacking someone else who threatens their sense of superiority. Now, on that one, um, with narcissists, it usually takes a period of time. It's a cycle. 
Uh, but if you've ever met, and this is this is you stay far away if 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 you start seeing symptoms of uh, BPD, borderline personality disorder, they can do what's just been discussed here. They can do it in a minute. They can switch from uh, the love bombing to devaluing, making you feel like trash in under five minutes flat. It is it is insane it's to scary. see that happen. No. Yeah. Hey, the horse chick I used to date was really good at that. Yeah. The love bombing, and then uh, they they pull it back to control you. Right. Yeah. Run. <laughs> Just run. <laughs> well, now that I know, uh, you know, that uh, line of questioning, I'm good. But I had never dealt with that before uh, to that degree. And that was pretty much the last, the last fucking kick in the pants that pushed me over the red pill uh, threshold. Mm. Nice. Uh, narcissistic abusers do this all the time. They devalue their exes to their new partner, and eventually the new partner starts to receive the same sort of mis mistreatment as the narcissist's ex-partner. Ultimately, what will happen is you will also also be on the receiving end of that same abuse. You A lot of divorced day... women do this. Yep. Yep. I, I yeah, can't my... tell you the times I've had these divorced women look look me in the eye and tell me that their ex was a manipulative narcissist and made their life a living hell. I'm like, okay. Where's the exit? Check, please. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't want any of that. Yeah. Neither should no, you. They, they were always the exes, the narcissists and all the abusers, right? Right? Wrong. Watch Grunt Speak live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for support or Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box.